What's up guys, Mr. Game here, welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I'd have a go at building Ken, Ken Block's new Escort Cosworth. If you head on over to the Hoonigan page, you can see that, I'll link that down below. It was the first four wheel drive donut done in the garage. Um, we'll get straight on into this, I'll quickly play the video of how it's drifting at the moment. Right, so we'll go on over the tune and everything else I've got put onto this car and the upgrade wise. Um, the design I have got off of DJS, Don Juan Song. I don't know if I'm saying that right, I do apologise if I'm not. I'll quickly show you his name so you can search it if you want to get the design off of him. <coughs> Where are we? My designs, there we go, Don Juan Song. It might be Don Joe Wan song. Oh, I don't know. Hopefully he can clear it up. Maybe I'll have to watch a few more of his videos. Um, obviously, he he's done a very, very good job with this. Sticker placement obviously isn't in the correct places everywhere, but you are limited. I mean, obviously, the little skull and crossbones. 
on the side there should be on the wing mirrors but you can't get them on the wing mirrors and the sun strip and everything like that you can't do it so he's done a very good job hands down to him right so if we get on over to the upgrades let's go into tuning and upgrades here in the upgrade shop right I've kept the stock engine I mean obviously that has got the stock Cosworth lump if you watch the Hoonigan video you'll notice it does have the stock Cosworth lump in it I mean it is a brilliant engine these cars are absolutely amazing and hold a lot of value for money you can't pick one of these up for well I don't know what the price is now but I wouldn't like to think definitely more than what they were new now um, if we head on over into the engine here on the upgrades I have maxed out everything in here so obviously you can go ahead and copy that into this platform and handling I've done everything in here again brakes upgraded suspension the sway bars the roll cage and I've made it as light as possible drivetrain yet again everything upgraded to the max and on tyres we have gone for 18 inch alloys I'll quickly show you where they are if you want to copy these ones I mean these were the ones that I thought represented the car the best to the original which are these ones here the MO5s Compromotive, and then as for tyres on the rears, we have gone for 235 3018s, and on the fronts, I have left them stock so 225 3518s. As I said, I, had, I haven't touched anything on the conversion side of it, it's still four wheel drive. Aero and appearance, whatever DJS has put on into his design to replicate the Ken Block Cosworth is what I've left it as. And then if we head on over into my tune, this is what I've got. I mean, I use the TMX Thrustmaster steering wheel, so I don't know how this works with a controller. I haven't tried it. But for the wheel, this is brilliant. Maybe with a controller, you'll have to do a few, slight few adjustments, but give it a go, see how you get on. So, tyre pressures, 27, 32 in the rear. Gearing, I didn't touch any of the final ratios. I did play about with the final drive a bit, so I can't remember what it was as standard, but... I think we're pretty near the stock setting on that. Alignment, I've got the negative front camber over to 5. We've got the rears at 1.9. I didn't want to, I was trying to get rid of the grip on the rear tyres to make it spin up a bit better. Uh, on the front toe, we've got 0.5. On the rear, we've got minus 0.2. On the front caster, I've gone for a 6 degrees angle. On the anti roll bars, I think I did soften these up just a little bit, not too much. Same with the springs, the fronts I did soften down quite a bit, the rears only a tiny bit, obviously for ride height I dropped it really low, dampening, we did touch this a little bit if I remember rightly, we've put it over to soft a little bit, same with the bump sniffer, stiffness I believe, aero, obviously we can't touch that without putting certain bumps on, I didn't really care, uh, braking force I've got 40% to the front and I've kept put the pressure at 120 on the actual braking force and then if we come over to here in the acceleration for the front we've gone for a 20% on the front zero on the deacceleration on the front on the rears we've gone for 100% on the rears and 35% on the deacceleration and then as a balance we've gone 80% to the rear now this is the setup like I say that's worked for me on the TMX Thrustmaster steering wheel it may not work so well on the controller but you'll have to give it a go I'm just obviously you'll have the option to tweak it but if you did like this video, please hit that like button down below and subscribe button. Um, drop, drop me some more things you want to see down below in the comments, please, guys. Any help. I mean, I can keep making videos all day long, but I want to know your suggestions, so please drop a comment down below. I'll catch you next time.